Happy Food Truck Friday from Good Day Atlanta. We're out here with Gezzo's West Coast Burritos. This is Anita. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? Doing great. So first of all, before we talk about exactly what you guys do, it's kind of a family business. You and your brother involved, right? That's right. My brother and I started about 15 years ago in Henry County. We have two brick and mortar locations, one in Locust Grove, one in McDonough. And then we've got this food truck where we go all over Atlanta. I mean, festivals, private weddings, school functions, church functions, um, private business functions. We go everywhere. Lots of cool places. So one of my favorite things to do is make guacamole. And I know you're going to give me a couple of tips this morning. So while, while we look around, let's go ahead. And I know we've already started yeah. uh, with these avocados here. Yeah, so we always start off with fresh avocados. I mean, we really want those to shine. Mm -hmm. So we try, when we smash them, we try to leave them a little chunky. Okay. That way you can really take care, you know, appreciate the bites right. of the avocado. And then after that, I've already kind of pre-smashed some of them. Okay. It's super simple, you know, you just add your onion. You add some really fresh tomatoes. You know, summer's got great tomatoes. And then cilantro kind of brightens it up a little bit. And then we keep it really simple with um, a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Then we've got little bit of pepper and then garlic powder. Ah, garlic powder and then we squeeze a little lime lime kind of gives it a little bit of uh, brightness to it but then it also keeps it from browning too much right. you know so um, you don't want to put too much because you don't want to overpower the flavor but that's about it people are always asking us you know what's our recipe what's our secret and the key is to make it fresh I right. mean make it like five minutes before you can serve it if possible because um, just like apples avocados will brown and right. oxidate so you want to keep it as fresh as possible and we find a lot of times that simple is just better sometimes the keeping the simple method is, is the best. Absolutely. Let's talk about some of the other things we have here on the table. I'm going to taste that in just a second. Yeah. Uh, jerk chicken nachos. Tell me about those. Yeah, so, you know, we're kind of like a beach-inspired concept. Mm -hmm. So we've got our spicy jerk chicken nachos. We put jalapenos, melted queso, pico, cilantro, corn pico. And then here we've got our shrimp salad, mm. you know, with our chipotle ranch dressing. Um, and then here is our burrito. And when you come in the restaurant, everything's build your own. So if you want cucumbers, you can have cucumbers if you want broccoli or spinach if you're you know vegetarian we make tofu I mean everything's just kind of built your own and so yeah and then these are our different salsas here everything comes with salsa too we make our chips fresh daily salsas are all homemade we've got mild roasted chipotle spicy serrano and our really favorite is this uh, herby like green tomatillo can't wait to try that either okay so you have two brick and mortar stores why is it important to to have a food truck and then to have this ability to go out and about you know what, because not everyone can come all the way to Henry County, but you know, people love fresh food. And so we like to bring the party to them. Um, also, it's just something different. You know, if you're having a beautiful day, not right. to be stuck inside four walls, you want to be able to, you know, go outside with your friend, your kids running around everywhere. You know how kids are inside yes, restaurants. Yes, so, you know, it's just nice to have that option. All right, and you brought the party to us this morning. Is this, is this ready to give a taste? Right, this the, is uh, ready to go. I know, uh, what's his Logan in there? Is that Logan's Logan that's been working there? on some uh, working on some tacos for us as yep. well? Here we go. Let me try. So, oh, here we go. Mm, I like it. It's better than mine, okay? <laughs> I thought mine was pretty good, but yours might be better. <laughs> what's Logan have going on in here? Hi, Logan, what you got for us today? What's up, Logan? Some tacos. What's up, bud? Tacos, what do we have? So, we got our chipotle chicken taco with our spicy ranch. We got the steak with the cilantro and onions. And we do have a spicy chicken as well for you to try. It's uh, all fantastic, man. Let me ask you a question, Logan. If you only had time on live television to taste one of these three, which one would it be? That one with our chipotle ranch is uh, we make it in house. This one? Chipotle ranch, yeah, right there. It's our chipotle chicken, top of our chipotle ranch. It's Delicious. All right, we'll try that. Where will we see you out about this weekend? Anywhere? Well, you know, we're at private events this weekend. We get booked all the time. So no no public events this weekend, but stay on our Facebook and our Instagram page. We post all the time where we're going. Will you hold this for me? Yep. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Enjoy that, man. This one right here, right? Yeah. All right. That's all you. No pressure, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> you take the biggest bites. The good? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? The first one you said. Okay. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. I do take it. You know, this is probably a, a three bite taco. At least. Okay. One down, two to go. Uh, man, we see you eat a lot on TV. You make it look good. I only eat and on that TV. That looks delicious. <laughs> I love it. All right, Buck, thank you.